Western women who wear the hijab when they visit Iran are insulting the nation. That's according to a prominent Iranian women's rights activist. She believes that calling the hijab part of Iranian culture contradicts the efforts of those battling against the compulsory head covering law. They say that this is a cultural issue. We wear it out of respect to the culture of Iran. Calling a discriminatory law as part of our culture, this is an insult to a nation. Iran's mandatory hijab law requires all women to wear it in public. While women in the Middle East are fighting for their freedom from this religious tyranny, Westerners think hijab is a cultural haute couture. Uh, no, they wear it because they're told if they don't, they can't get in or stay. They're just being polite, but everyone knows it's mandatory. They know they have to, otherwise they may never return. As a woman fighting against a compulsory hijab in Iran, it's more than painful to me when I hear people say a compulsory hijab is our culture. It is not. Just look at the picture of Iran before the 1979 Islamic Revolution. One of the first most depressing days that I had on social media was learning that there was something called Hijab Day, where free women would put this hijab on thinking that it makes them in solidarity with Muslim women. Alicia Keys was the person who I reacted to most strongly because she had posted a picture of a woman in niqab covered head to toe in black except for her beautiful legs sticking out. And she said something about how, you know, how, it, how this was such a beautiful thing that this woman was wearing. And so I in turn posted a picture of the from the movie Roots of a slave covered in chains when they were being brought to America and I said there you go Alicia is this beautiful to you because the visceral reaction you're gonna have to me calling this beautiful is exactly the visceral reaction I have when you call that beautiful oh! 